Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, good evening, everybody. Welcome to tonight's broadcast. We see that many of you have already come online and joined us. We are going to be starting in just a few minutes. So while you are getting ready, let's just get into a time of worship. And Jeffrey is going to lead us this evening. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, good evening everybody and welcome to tonight's broadcast. We are so grateful that we can come and uh, join with you and just be with you in your homes. We are grateful that you are also connecting to the evening's broadcast. And so a very warm welcome to all of you on this Tuesday, the 18th of August, 2020. Can you believe we are already midway through the month of August? And it's just unbelievable that we've reached thus far. And we are almost going to be in six months in lockdown. But nevertheless, tonight we have committed this evening to a time of prayer. We're going to have some time of worship. We've got some pastors behind us. I'm going to introduce to you in just a few moments. But before we do that, let me uh, just ask Jeffrey to open this evening service in prayer. So wherever you are now at your homes, please stand. And while you are getting ready, I want you to hashtag breakthrough. I want you to do that because I feel that tonight there is going to be a breakthrough in the life of somebody. And if that is you out there today, I want you to know that God is going to come and give you the breakthrough. Because He is Bel Parazan. And through the prayers of all these fine gentlemen behind me, as they will pray and speak the word of God tonight. I know that as you are standing there, you have got to receive this. You have got to believe. And your faith is going to make you whole. So say, hashtag breakthrough. Hallelujah. Let's open in prayer tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. This time. Hallelujah. Tonight we believe that we are in time mm. for a breakthrough. Because we serve a mm. God of breakthrough tonight. Hallelujah. Mm. We thank you tonight, Lord, that you are our purifier. Mm. You are our refiner tonight, Father mm. God. We just worship you tonight. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes. We just want to love you. Mm. We just want to sing praises unto your matchless mm. tonight. Hallelujah. Mm. I want to be tried. By fire, purify, you take whatever you desire, Lord, use my life, I want to be tried by fire, purify, you take whatever you desire, Lord, is my life, Purify my heart. I want to burn for you. 
Amen. Only for you, clean my hand, purify my heart. I want to burn for you, only for you. Is that your heart's desire tonight? Mm. We know tonight that God is in for a breakthrough for yes. us tonight. We believe you, Almighty God, that you're going to move amongst our people tonight. Even though I'm not like you, Father, they will receive their miracles. We will hear of their testimonies, Lord. Oh, what a good, good Father you are tonight. Mm. We just want to thank you, Father. We just ask you from the inception mm. of the meeting, right mm. to the end, have your way. Father, mm. we make a program, but you could chop and change it tonight, mm. because the Holy Spirit knows what he's going to do here tonight. Father, we pray, because your servants have come fervently to pray tonight, Lord. We believe a miracle tonight. You are the God of the breakthrough. You are a miracle-working God, and you are indeed going to bless us tonight. For we ask it in Jesus' mighty name, with much thanksgiving. Mm. Amen. Amen. Thank you, G. Let's worship the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Let's just bow our heads. Our eyes. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads, mm. even as we get into a time of worship. Yes. Hallelujah. I will bless the Lord and give Him glory.
Worship the Lord in our homes right now. You know the song. Just raise your hands and start to worship the Lord. Praise Him and honor Him and worship Him tonight. Out of thanksgiving, I will bless Thee, O Lord. With my hands lifted up. Just worship the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. 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 
Hallelujah. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. Oh. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. Lord, we honor you. honor you Lord we honor you tonight Lord we honor you Lord thou art worthy sing thou art worthy Thou art worthy, Thou art worthy, Thou art worthy, oh, Thou art worthy again, Thou art worthy, worship Him in your homes. Declare that the Lord is worthy tonight. I sense a breakthrough already me through the worship. Worship Him like you haven't worshipped Him before. What worthy Thou art worthy Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. Oh. Lord, we love you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Tonight, if you are trusting God for something, Lord, we thank you. Sing. I want you to say, Lord, we thank you and worship him in advance today. Thank him tonight in advance for what he's to worship. Lord, we thank you. Raise your worship. Lord, we thank you. 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 Are you sick tonight? Are you standing in proxy for someone who is not well? Are you standing tonight for someone that needs a breakthrough? Are you standing tonight and if you are believe God for a breakthrough in your life, whatever it is, whether you are elected and you are positive, whether you have cancer, whether you have sugar diabetes, whether you have back pains or whatever it may be, the Lord Jesus is going to heal you tonight. Oh, Lord, be thank you. Time, Lord, we thank you. Lord, Lord, we thank you. Mm. Wow, thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Lord, There's such a sweet atmosphere here in the church tonight. And I sense the Holy Spirit is moving even through the medium of this broadcast this evening. 
I believe that the, the Lord our God is going to do exactly that which He promised. And I want to say to you tonight, whoever you are, there is such a surge right now. I sense that someone is just standing out there and there's such a demand for a breakthrough and such a demand for the anointing. And I want you to stay in an attitude of prayer, stay in an attitude of worship. As we're going to go through tonight, I sense that the Lord our God is going to give us the breakthrough for He is Baal Perazam. I want you to say again tonight, hashtag my breakthrough is... Is coming! Hallelujah! Hashtag my breakthrough is coming! Come everybody, let's send that through tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. You can take your seats. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Well, good evening, everybody, and a very warm welcome to all of you on this very cold Tuesday evening. We know that there's a cold front that's coming in. I've seen some reports that there's some snow on in Cape Town. Someone showed me a little clip that the snow on Table Mountain. I don't know how much of snow, but the last clip I saw that snow was starting to fall. But whatever the case is, I do know that tonight is a little bit chilly. But as you know, when we get into the anointing and we get into the attitude of prayer, then the fire of God will fall. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I'm so excited tonight because I know and I sense that even in my time of waiting, there's going to be a breakthrough. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, this evening, I want to officially welcome all of you and thank you for joining and coming online and just coming and joining us tonight in prayer. The Bible says we're two or three agree anything in the name of Jesus, so shall it be. The Bible also reminds us that where there is unity, God commands His blessings. And tonight, let there be unity in the Spirit. If there's any spirit out there that is coming contrary to the Spirit of God, we confuse you, we break your power, we, rend, we send you to a dry and barren place in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. For the Lord our God, He's going to reign supreme. And Father, we want to say thank you tonight. Thank you in advance for what you're about to do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, dear friends, a very warm good evening. Thank you for tuning in. Tonight is the 18th of August, 2020. And I'm going to, before we get into a top prayer, I'm going to introduce you to the panel that's behind me. You see, I've got all... The pastors that are behind me and some of the members of the church and so let me now give you an introduction to who they are so on my extreme right hand side we've got pastor stanley simon and he's uh, that's pastor stanley simon he's going to come and greet you in a few minutes as well then you all know pastor bobby from the church family church we welcome him tonight and then we also have pastor anthony gnesson and healings and he's going to greet you also tonight we welcome him and then you all know young tishen who is also from the family church and we all are here tonight because we're coming for one purpose we are coming to pray we're coming to pray not because we got nothing else to do we're coming to pray because we believe god answers prayer say hashtag god answers prayer hallelujah send that in tonight hashtag god answers prayer amen well this evening i want to before i get into it you can see we're also ready and we want to get into this time of prayer but we're going to go back into worship in a few minutes but before we do that let me share with you some of the numbers uh so that you know where we stand and i do that every tuesday so as of today, Tuesday, the 8th of August, 2020, this is the world stats. Remember, I'm giving you, and then I'm going to move over to where we stand as a country, a nation, South Africa. So worldwide, we are sitting with 22,074,836 people that are infected with the COVID-19. That's 22 million people worldwide. The number of people that have succumbed to the uh, COVID-19 that have passed away is 777,902 people. 777,000. That's so big a number, I can't even say it properly. 
777,902 people have already passed away due to the COVID-19. And that is something that is just mind-boggling. The number of people that have recovered is 14.8 million people. To be exact, is 14,811,802 people have recovered from the COVID-19. And that's positive. So you can see that we're on a good trajectory. And now as a nation, let me give you some news and also share with good news, similar to what our president said two nights ago when he addressed the nation. So as a country, we are sitting as we speak with 589,886 people infected with the COVID-19. 589,886. I just want to rewind the clock for you a bit, just to go back to the first week of uh, April to share the numbers of where we were sitting as a country. We were averaging one and a half thousand people in the first week in April. Now we're sitting with 589,000 people that were infected with COVID-19. Isn't that a shocker? Now, let me tell you. The number of people that have passed away here in our beautiful country, South Africa, is 11,982 people. And I'm sure after today's numbers, by tomorrow, that's going to go up to 12,000 by the looks of things. So 11,982 people have passed away thus far. And the number of people that have recovered is 477,671. Praise be to God for the recoveries. Now... Let me just give you what happened in the last week. And I want you to pay attention to this because it's important that you understand what's happening in our nation. This past week, we had a total of 26,288 people that are infected with the COVID-19. Now that's a big drop from the week before and the weeks before. Let me give you an idea of how these numbers have dropped weekly so that you'll understand. If I go back to the 9th of June, right, we were in seven days, 22,000 people were infected in seven days. Then the week after, 28,000 people were infected. Then the week of 42,000 people were infected. Then it went up to 61,000. Then 82,000. Then 85,000 on the, uh, the week of the 14th of July. Okay? That's like uh, plus or minus a month ago. It went up to 85,000 people in seven days that got infected with the COVID-19. And then it started to come down. And then we started to see the reduction. It came to 78,000, then 64,000, then 46,000. And then this last seven days, 26,000. That means this pandemic is starting to come down in terms of the infections. But let me say this and give you caution. Even though the president has told us that we've now gone to level two, it is not a time to go back to business as usual. It's not a time to go back and just start to go in having your gatherings and doing things as how we used to before the pandemic. We got to still take the precaution because they're talking about what happened years ago in 1918, the second wave. And if we are irresponsible as citizens of our country, the second wave can come. So let us maintain what we have obtained thus far as a nation. And now we are seeing that drastic reduction in infections per week, which is such a positive thing. So if we maintain that even through level two and through level one, we can beat this thing as a nation. We have to work together. We have to support what the government is saying. Don't criticize the government. Yes, we know they make mistakes, but they're not perfect. So are we. We all make mistakes. But let us put our hands together. And instead of complaining and talking and being backbiting the, uh, uh, and talking behind the government, let us take that energy and let's put that energy into prayer. 
And when we put that energy into prayer, we're talking to the one who made the heavens and the earth, and he can stop this in an instant. And we know that God is still in control. So let our faith not get weak during this time. Let us not peter out and get into a place where we backslide. But let us be strong. Let us get stronger during this time. For God is going to bring us through this period. Dear friends, tonight I want to um, welcome uh, the pastors that are behind me. I've invited two of the pastors to come and just spend some time in prayer because I believe they have a lot to offer as we're going to pray. And a corporate anointing is always something that is welcome. And a corporate anointing is what I'm feeling here tonight. So this evening before we go into a time of prayer, I'm going to welcome firstly Pastor um, uh, Anthony Guinness. He's going to come and greet you. He's going to explain where is he from, the name of his church. He's going to greet you and then he's going to give you a word of encouragement. And after that, I'm going to welcome Pastor Stanley Simon and he's going to do likewise. Once we're done with that, we're going to go straight into prayer. So get ready for our time of intercession. Pastor Anthony. Amen. Well, greetings to every online viewers, and it's really great to be here, and I have got it a joy and a privilege to be one of the participants to lead in prayer. And I believe that as we come together, we're going to cause heaven to invade mm. the earth. Amen? Mm. I sense the presence of God in this mm. place already. Mm. We believe in God mm. to move mm. in a supernatural mm. way. I want to thank Pastor Noel Theophs and the Family Church mm. to allow us the opportunity to come together and pray like we never prayed before. Mm. Amen? And we mm. know that there's going to be a breakthrough in this place. As you're watching, mm. Us right now, I'm Pastor Anthony Gesson mm. from New Life Christian Center in New mm. West, and I give mm. greetings from mm. our church. So just before we get into prayer at the end, I would just want to encourage you with a word, mm. uh, and I want to title it this little encouragement, mm. seeing your breakthrough. Mm. Amen. Seeing mm. your breakthrough. Right now, mm. the pandemic has disrupted our lives mm. and has caused fear and anxiety upon every one of us. Mm. And right now, many of us are asking, how come I'm not seeing miracles? Mm. How come I'm not seeing my healing? Mm. How come I'm not seeing my breakthrough? Mm. Folks, I want you to understand, that even though you're not seeing it, mm. I want to tell you that God is working mm. behind the scene. Amen. You need to praise God and sense that God mm. is already fighting the battle Amen. for you. Mm. Amen. You mm. see, friends, if the enemy keeps mm. you from seeing, it will keep you in a place where you're stuck in mm. brokenness. You're wow. stuck in Amen. barrenness. Folks, listen mm. to me. When you have a vision mm. of who God is and when it's mm. obscured by the things that you're going yes, through, yes, yes, I, want, yes. I want you to hear that something small can mm. block out something greater wow. and something mm. bigger. Amen. You see, mm. God wants you to do something bigger. Well, in 1 Kings right. chapter 19, mm. the Bible says, and Elijah went up to the mountain and yes. they began to pray. Mm. And this word, the word says, I, I heard the sound mm. of the abundance of rain. Amen. I don't know about you, Hallelujah. but we are hearing mm. the sound of the abundance of rain. What are you saying? I'm mm. hearing what I cannot see. Mm. So I need to see That's this. Right. And so he asked his son, oh, and you know mm. the story. Seven mm. times the Bible says he went mm. and he saw a cloud the size of a man's mm. head. How if you know something small brought an end to a wow. fear of your wow. brother? I mm. want you to understand that God is getting mm. ready to bring an end to mm. the pandemic. He's bringing an end to what you're going through. We are transitioning mm. into a new stage, into a new era. Amen. And God is calling us to see. Amen. To see yes, that's right. that your miracle mm. is mm. on the brink right now. In 2 mm. Kings chapter 8, I like the story with Elisha and his servant was surrounded mm. by the enemy. Mm. And, the, and the Bible says the servant was terrified, mm. was full of fear. Mm. And Elisha mm. prayed that the Lord would open his servant's eye. Mm. You see, for, mm. listen to me. Mm. When Elisha mm. prayed, mm. out didn't come. Mm. How was already there. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes. How yes. was already wow. there. Yes. And he, God wanted to show the servant that what was already there. I came to tell you mm. right now that God is already oh. doing the work. You see, God answered Elijah's prayer mm. not by eliminating the 
enemies mm. but by when it in his presence wow. and i want Amen. you right now mm. to, to to look oh, into the lens of faith. begin to see that mm. god is already mm. there he's Amen. right there with you right there mm. as you're watching us on facebook mm. uh, online you is already yes. doing the yes. miracle yes. so when we're yes. going to pray for healing yes. when we're going to pray yes. for bravery yes. i want you to begin to open up your mouth and declare and say mm. this it's already done Mm, it's already done. Already Whatever done. you trust in God for, mm. it's already done. Mm. And we're going to believe mm. that mm. right now Hallelujah. as we're going to begin to Hallelujah. join our hearts in prayer and sensing mm. the power mm. and the anointing of God is going to touch you. We're going to cancel every mm. fear, every anxiety, every stress mm. you're going through. I want you to know mm. it's going to be done. It's going to be your breakthrough is on its way. Right. Amen. Amen. So we're going to be praying later. Mm. And, and I want you to join with us yes. and believe yes. God yes. for a miracle. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. What did you say, Pastor? It's already done. It's already Hashtag. Done. It's already done. Come everybody. Send that in light. Let's declare that. Let's make that declaration. Hashtag. It's already done. If you believe that, send that in tonight. Because as you prophesy that word, so will that word follow you, overtake you, and surround you like a shield. Hallelujah. I like that word. Hashtag. It's already done. I'm so rubbed up and I can sense and I know that God is going to do something extra on Mary tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Anthony. This evening, I want to introduce to you also Pastor Stanley Simon, and we're going to welcome him now to come and greet you and tell you where he's from and also share some encouragement. Good evening, family and friends. Thank you, Pastor Dio, uh, Theophilus, and, and Portia for allowing us. I bring greetings from Mary Ann and I and our Baptist Church. I thank God for. Uh, the enthusiasm and the fire mm, in our Pastor amen. Anthony and I feel blessed mm. to be with you today. I just want to encourage you also in line of what Pastor Anthony said. I, I believe that it's no time for us right now to be lax. Mm. There's so many negative things that people are saying about the church of Jesus Christ and so many people are falling into depression mm. so many people are, are staying away from the presence of the Lord but I want to share with you that out of God's word that Isaiah chapter 40 verses mm. 31 mm. for those who wait upon the oh, Lord wow. he shall renew your strength you shall mount up yeah. with wings of mm. eagles you shall run and not get weary, mm. and you shall walk and not faint. Family, mm. I believe that this time when mm. the church is going through all that it's going through, there is a time of renewal. But mm. more than that, I believe that God will instill mm. a revival Hallelujah. in this place. And if you feel right. down, yes. and you're feeling yes. out, yes. and you're feeling that nothing's going to come your way, mm. God is legal, He's going to regenerate yes. your spirit. That's right. And That's everything right. that yes. is yes. good yes. and perfect yes. yes. would be yes. your portion. So mm. as we're going to come to a time of prayer, I believe that if you mm. wait upon the Lord, if you put your trust in Him, if you just come to Him and say, Lord, there is no other, no figures, no no uh, identity, nobody else but in Jesus Christ. He will renew your strength and will mount up with wings of eagles. You will run and not get weary. You will walk and not faint. So I pray that you will attach your faith with our faith. That you will come and that you will respond the heart of hallelujah hallelujah so that god will be able to do immeasurably mm. more mm. than you can ask or imagine hallelujah trust him for whatever you need and we believe mm. in god with you the bible hallelujah. said like pastor said with the truth jesus that thank you agree jesus. on one thing mm. god will be able to mm. do that so believe with us mm. today and thank you again for having me. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Stanley, for that. I want you to do this. Hashtag renewal. You believe that there's a renewal coming your way? Hashtag renewal. Dear friends, tonight if you are seated at home, I want you to stand right now. Stand wherever you are in your homes and let's just get onto our feet. 
We're going to get into a time of prayer, focused prayer, strategic prayer. We've got four prayer pointers tonight and the prayer pointers will be announced in just a few moments. But I want just to prepare your heart right now. Get your spirits ready as we're going to wait on the Lord. Sing they that wait upon the Lord Shall renew their strength They shall mount up with wings as eagles They shall run and not be weary they shall walk and shall not faint. So teach me, Lord, teach me, Lord, to wait. Sing they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk and shall not faint so teach me lord teach me lord to wait come jeff lead us in the worship song Hallelujah, kushara la banduri atandere lebe, shede de de denduri la baba bandur lo bondri ate. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jehovah. Jehovah is your name. Pura la banche de denduria kate. Now this evening, they'll just remain standing this evening. 
Many of you have sent in prayer requests. We thank you for that. I want you to understand that every prayer request that you've sent, every prayer request that you've sent, the Lord has already registered that in heaven. And I want you to know that God says prayer. God says that I am near to all those who call upon me. And perhaps there are some of you tonight that have lost loved ones, that are feeling the pain and the grief of losing this loved one. Whether it is through COVID or whether it is through any other sickness or through some other way that they have passed on. The Lord your God is near to all those. And I want you to know tonight He is going to give you the strength that you need to reach out to God and God is going to come into your hearts. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <coughs> Hallelujah. The Bible says in Psalm 46, God is our refuge and our strength. He's an ever present help in trouble, and therefore we will not fear, though the earth give way and the mountains fall in heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam. And the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams may glad the sea of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her, and she will not fall. Amen. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms are falling. He lifts his voice, uh, and the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see what the Lord has done. The desolations He has brought on the earth. He makes wars to cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and He shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire and He says, Be still and know that I am God. For I will be exalted among the nations, and I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. The Bible says tonight, be still and know that He is God. And tonight amidst all the pandemic, all the rushing around and the fear, and all that that is coming to grip us, God is saying, be still and know that I am God. And in that stillness, God is going to come and give you the supernatural strength. Dear friends, tonight we are going to go into a time of prayer. And I'm going to call Tishen first. And Tishen's going to lead us in prayer as he's going to come and pray for all the healthcare workers. We are strategic tonight and this is our focus. Number one, Tishen will pray for all the healthcare workers, all the frontline healthcare workers. Thereafter, Pastor Stanley Simon is going to come and pray, and he's going to lead us in prayer for all the grieving families. All of you that have lost loved ones, if you know somebody that has passed away, and you know them, and you want to uh, stand in proxy tonight, as Pastor Stanley will lead in prayer for all those that are grieving, that have lost loved ones. Then I'm going to call Pastor Bobby, he will come straight after, and he's going to pray for salvation. Salvation. There are many people out there that are lost. Many people that are searching and are wanting to know God. They are wanting to see the hand of God move. Uh, Pastor Bob's going to lead us in prayer of salvation. And then last, Pastor Anthony will come and he's going to come and pray over all those that are sick. 
all those that are infected, whether they are infected with the virus, coronavirus, or whether they are sick with any other sickness, we believe Jehovah Rapha is going to be at work tonight. There's going to be healing coming through. So tonight, just remain standing. Don't be seated. Let's get into an attitude of prayer. As we're going to pray and agree as these gentlemen will pray, I want you to agree in your homes. This is not a program where you're watching to see what happens. I want you to agree. The Bible says there's power in agreement. So let us come together in prayer as to share will commence tonight. Hallelujah. Thank you. Joshua 1, 1 verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged for the Lord your God be mm. with you wherever you go. Isaiah 41 verse 10. So do not fear for I am with you. Do not be dismayed for I am your God. Mm. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with mm. my righteous right hand. Mm. Father, tonight even as we bring the healthcare workers before mm. you, Lord, we give you praise, we give you honor, we yes. give you glory, Father, for all that you have done through them, Father. Lord, we thank you, Father, for equipping them with wisdom, understanding, and knowledge, Father. For we know that it was not for you, Lord. We will yes, not Lord. see the results we see today, Father. Mm. We thank you for the loving care thank and tenderness that we have for you your Jesus. people, Father. Take care of your people, mm. Father. So tonight, Father, we bring them before you, Father. Mm. We give you thanks, Lord, for, yes. for, for them being our life, yes. for them being on this planet, mm. Father. We just give you thanks for that, mm. Father. And tonight, mm. Lord, we pray, Lord, that even as we are mm. such pandemic, Father, that you will continue to use them, Father, even Hallelujah. greater than that yeah. of before, Father, because, Lord, mm. they are your children, Father. We know, Lord, that every Every single one of them, Father, will be used for your kingdom, Father. Oh, and we know that you will protect them at the times, Father. No matter what they do, Lord, they know that you are with them. When they attend to your people, Lord, may they attend to them with the loving kindness of God. And the peace of God will be with them at all times, Father. So we thank you for them. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Family and friends. Mm. This evening I just want to come before mm. the Almighty God and pray mm. for you that are struggling with the loss of a loved one. Mm. It's, it's a hard, Help them, Lord. hard road. Mm. But I want to tell you this evening that the Lord understands. Mm. The Bible tells us that when he lost his dear friend, mm. the Lord Jesus wept. Mm. And he does not only understand, but the Bible gives us a wonderful assurance mm. that the Lord is close to the mm. brokenhearted. Yes. And so today, in whatever space, in whatever place you are in, I believe that the mm. everlasting arms of Jesus mm. is all around you. Yes, Lord. And so I want to come and I want to pray that God's comfort Amen. That's and I want to tell you mm. tonight that I know what it is to be in pain. Mm. I know what it is to lose mm. a son. I, mm. I know what it is to lose a mom. Mm. Mm. And I know that God is close mm. to you right now. Yes. So I, I pray, would you just pray with me? Mm. Even when the question seems that there's no answers mm. to it right now and your mind seems as if God is not near mm. I want to assure you this evening that God is there and so let's just call upon him and if, mm. if you cannot pray with me the Bible tells mm. me that God listens to the groaning mm. of our hearts mm. I pray mm. that you right there will mm. offer the groanings, yes. the unaudible mm. words, but mm. he listens to your heart. Let's yes, just pray. Lord. Heavenly Father, mm. we come to you in mm. Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. The name that is above mm. every other name. Yes, yes. The name that spells victory mm. in the midst mm. of our defeat. The name that gives us joy mm. in the midst of our pain. The mm. name that grants to us comfort mm. in the midst of our sorrow. Mm. 
I pray for my brothers and my sisters that are at home. Mm. And Lord, in, in the confines yes, of their, yeah. their homes, they feel the sorrow and they feel the pain. I believe, God, that mm. your spirit is able to transcend mm. any barrier Kura and able to reach shede down shede right, shede right where they are banta. right now. Mm. And I pray, oh God, that you will comfort them, that the mm. strong hand of Jesus yes. would lift their spirit, oh. that they will understand oh. that our God is able ba 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 to do immeasurably more yes. than they can ask or imagine in Jesus' name. And I pray, oh God, that every wounded spirit, every heart that is full of sorrow, that you would lift them up right now, that the healing arm of Gilead will be upon them. I pray, oh God, that you will allow us to be prayed for them. We'll pray with the same comfort that we understand. I pray right now, God, that you plant the edge around them during this time of weakness. In this time of loss, plant the edge around them. Put a ball of fire. Let no weapon formed against them prosper. But they will be mighty to the pulling down of strongholds. I pray to the O God that they will lift up their heads mm, from whence come at their yes, house and yes, that they will yes. look to you the source mm, of light mm, and guidance. Thank you, Bless Holy them Spirit. right now, O God. Be with them. And Lord, mm. words are able to heal mm. their wounded heart. Mm. But I believe through your nail-pierced hands, mm. And through the love that was shed on the cross yes, for Lord. each one of them that is able to reach Amen. every trench, every home, oh, every loneliness, you, every pain, mm. that Lord you will revive them, mm. that you will renew them, yes, Lord. that you will regenerate them right mm. now, that they will come out and know that my Redeemer lives. Mm. And lives forevermore. Hallelujah. Bless my brothers and sisters. In Jesus' mm. name. Amen. The morning Amen. today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Powerful Thank name. you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Stanley. I greet one and all in the precious name of Jesus. Mm. Beloved of God, this is not the time to mm. throw in the towel. Hallelujah. To drop the cross. Mm. Or to get discouraged. Mm. You have run the race so well. Mm. Who have hindered you? Mm. The word of God says, 99 are wide of old. Mm. But I've come to seek and to say that Hallelujah. one lost sheep. Mm. This is but the beginning and the early pains mm. of the birth pains mm. of the intolerable mm. anguish called the COVID-19. Mm. Matthew mm. 24, 13 says, but he who endures to the end will be saved. And this good news of the kingdom, the gospel, will be preached throughout the whole mm. world as a testimony mm. to all the nations. And then will come the end. Mm. Heaven celebrate mm. if one sinner repent and come Amen. to Jesus. Yes. Where there's unity, yes. God will command Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> And oh God, this morning, this evening, I want to remind you, go out there and bring them in. Hallelujah. The heat, we call the in the souls of God. From the Lord, 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 from 
for a man among them to mm. stand the edge mm. to cover the gap I found them us, Lord. but Father help we us, are available help us, we are available mm. oh God to cry out for this nation mm. that they will be saved mm. in the name of the Father Son Hallelujah. and the Holy Ghost wow. thank you amen 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 thank you Pastor Bob thank amen. you Jesus Hallelujah. Well, I've been asked to pray mm. for those that are sick today. Yes. Whether you're infected by the virus mm. or any other sickness mm. that you may be facing right mm. now. If mm. you're watching mm. me this mm. evening, I want you to get ready mm. and position yourself wow. for a supernatural touch that God's going to release upon your life. 1 Peter chapter 2 mm. verse 24 says, By His stripes, we were healed. Mm. Amen. It's already done. We mm. were healed. And so I want you to agree with me as we pray for those that are sick. By the yes. virus or any other sickness. If you are sick right now, if you know somebody that is sick, believe with me mm. as we stand in agreement. God's going to do the yes, miracle. Yes, Father, yes, we come yes, to you yes, in yes. the precious Go and wonderful la ba 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 name of Jesus. And we release your anointing right now upon those that are sick in body. That's right. Pray, 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 pray. pray. Go shot. Go la la ba ba. That's divine right. yes. intervention of oh, God yes. upon every yes. person yes. and we yes. believe you are oh, healed already, we've got our breakthrough, we've got our miracle, it's already done, we will see it in Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. hallelujah. praise the Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Just stay where you are and don't go offline. We're going to just conclude in just a few moments. I just felt as the pastors were praying 
For those of you out there that are having some challenges in your marriage, right now during this past six months, almost six months of lockdown, there are many marriages that are being attacked. And I want to just give you some encouragement tonight. I want you to understand that the moment uh, you start to give in, and you start to give in to what is happening, and you want to throw in the towels, probably saying, and you want to give up on your marriage, I want you to know that you are giving in to the enemy. The enemy wants to break up your marriage. Why? Because he knows the power that exists in what God has brought you as your husband and wife together. And I want to say to you tonight, whoever you are, who's ever marriage out there tonight that is going through a turmoil, I want you to know that there is purpose in your marriage. For the Lord your God has blessed you. And when you walked down that aisle, and when you took your vows, and you both have become one flesh, God has placed His hand upon you, and the anointing rests upon your life. You see, the enemy knows that when two come together, the enemy knows there's power. The enemy knows that God has put purpose into your life. And the greater the purpose, the greater the attack. I'm saying to you, don't give up. I'm saying to you, be strong. I'm saying to you tonight, whoever you are, and your marriage is taking strain, the Lord God is with you. Don't give up. Don't give up on your marriage. Fight for your marriage. Get on your knees and pray. Pray to the Lord your God. And God is going to rescue you. God is going to restore to you that which the caterpillar has stolen. The palmer worm has stolen. God is going to Oh, hallelujah! In Jesus' name, let us bow our heads round in prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. 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 Father, we say thank you tonight for this time of prayer. Thank you, Lord, that we can join with all those many, many homes, uh, those hundreds of people, oh God, that have come online tonight and have joined in unity, oh God. We know, oh God, that you answer our prayer. And we know, Father, that we're going to see change uh, take place. Uh, we're going to see people's lives change, uh, salvation souls into the kingdom. We're going to see the health workers protected. We're going to see those families that are deep strengthened we are going to see those that are sick of oh God be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and now let's say the Lord's prayer all together our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, good evening, everybody. Good night, and thank you for joining us. Thank you to the pastors that have joined us, Pastor Stanley and Pastor Anthony that have joined us, and we appreciate them coming. And I want to say to you, don't forget, Sunday, 9 a.m., we will see you online. God bless you. Remain strong. Remain focused, for breakthrough has arrived. Hallelujah.